Expressions are a way for you to animate things faster than keyframing them and duplicating the keyframes, putting them later in the timeline, and so on and so forth. So to use an expression, you'll need to find a property that you want to animate. And the same way that we animate something by setting keyframes, instead, we're just gonna hit Alt when we click on one of these stopwatches. One of the first expressions that you might use is time times a number. This expression makes a very quick and simple evolution keyframe. What that means is that as time in your composition continues, you'll see the value multiply the frame number that you're on times whatever number you put in this area right here. So if I put time times 20, the expression will be a multiple of 20. You may want to use this to animate something like the evolution value of a noise effect, or you can have it be a rotation value and it will just rotate it around itself. So if you want to move something or rotate it kind of erratically, you can do it with this simple expression. I'll click on the stopwatch and we're gonna type wiggle, open parenthesis, a number, comma, and another number. You can make it super simple or make it really erratic. And what these numbers stand for is frequency and then amplitude. So if I want something to move at least twice in a second and I want to move by 50 pixels, you put wiggle, open parentheses, two comma 50, close parentheses. Unlike the time expression, wiggle is erratic. It doesn't have a bound property. Although if you mess with the expression further on, you can say you want it to only wiggle on the X or Y axis. If you don't want to keyframe a looping animation, here is an easy solution which requires only two or three keyframes. I'm going to open up the position of all three of these stars, and we're going to go ahead and make a new position keyframe at the start. And then 30 seconds in, I'm going to do another one. And then for this last one, I'm going to do one more here. Now, let's go ahead and set all of these to the other side of the screen. So we set the keyframe to be over here for this one, and then we'll actually go back and we'll move this one slightly forward. You have a couple different options with loop expressions. So let's start with a very common one. I'm gonna alt click the position. It'll keep the keyframes, but it'll also take whatever I put in the expression and apply it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type loop out, and in the parentheses, we're gonna type cycle get past that one, and then hit zero. So what you're gonna see is it's going to loop the entire animation and just immediately skip back to the front once it's already gotten all the way through the animation. So that's loop out cycle. If you wanna loop the animation back and forth, you wanna type loop out and in the parentheses, you wanna put ping pong in between the quotes here followed by comma, zero, close parentheses. This is gonna send your animation back and forth between those two keyframes. And if you apply any sort of easy easing or anything custom like this, it's gonna copy those same values to the keyframe and the expression. So you see it sprints off to one end and the other. Another one you can try is offset. So we'll alt click the stopwatch and type loop out offset comma zero. The animation here is going to take the values that you put in the keyframe, add and subtract them, and continue to push this star for as long as you have it set. You can do this with a lot of other properties, it's just up to you for what you want to use it for. Thanks, and see you in the next video.